to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be following me on IG. Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I say I put your bands up. Sometimes I want to do a blog when I stand up. I just want to stand up. Why? I've been stepping on shit all week anyway. Might as well stand up. Shit like that. Shit like nah, that. Shout shit out to like y'all, man. Um, like shout out to my brother Showtime SP. The tour. The tour. We're gonna talk about that first. You know what I'm saying? Like from now on, just let y'all know. As someone who's efficiently and successfully promoted other people's events for the past six years, some of the biggest events, it is time for me to do something and for myself and Showtime SP. I've already told y'all Showtime SP Damn. still currently Damn. has a nine to five. I don't like that because he works too hard. So what we're gonna do is we getting on our grind. We're gonna take our live podcast and we're gonna go hit some cities, run into some people that we love, that love us, bring folks out, small settings, 100, 150, 75, like that. Nothing too crazy. I know they're probably gonna sell out, but I'm still gonna be giving people the opportunity. At this point in time, we could really only visit bigger cities that we have a fan base at. Do not ask me to come to fucking <laughs> Albuquerque. Come on, my nigga. <laughs> I'm saying, like, I'm not there yet. I'm sorry. I'm just not there yet. Unless I can, I know we can move that. But places that we already confirmed, Atlanta's happening, Philadelphia's happening. Uh, what else? Atlanta, Philadelphia, Miami, and I'm probably going to close Vegas in the next whatever. But I got to thank everybody for motivating us, you know what I'm saying, and continuing to inspire us to do bigger and better things. Because I think in life, as you see with all things, you know what I'm saying, if you ain't giving niggas something to not like you for, then what are you doing? Pause. I mean, if they ain't coming at me, they ain't coming at nobody. Ain't nobody else to come at but me. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Who else is shaking it up, doing and, and providing? You know what I'm saying? So this ain't going to be about nobody else, and I'm so glad that the opportunity for the He Got Smoke tour came along because there's so much that I want to show y'all with myself and SP, you know what I'm saying? So I'll give you a quick little idea of something. Um, if me and SP is in Chicago, per se, and we talking about MCs, yada, 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 on a live podcast like this, Big T or somebody could actually come out there, you know what I'm saying? Or if I'm in LA and I'm talking about Danny, Danny could come there. If he don't like my opinion, we can stand up and battle right now. What's up, nigga? I got that stick. I got that tool. I'm yeah. packing. He can get around too. Anybody can get it. Bit, bit, Just provide a different experience. And being able to do that is something dope. I got so many dope responses. So many people have been reaching out. So many people want to help with it. But the first joint is going to be in Philadelphia. We will have the tickets linked soon. We will have all the information. And <laughs> trust you and believe. I just want to put this in the last part. If I worked as hard as I worked to get here promoting other people's shit, just imagine what I'm going to do with my own. Yes, sir! This nigga spitting. Damn, nigga! Um, so yeah, uh, Calico, Calico, what was popping with you, man? Now, first and foremost, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the hell you got going on? What trouble are you starting in Michigan? So, Virginia? Virginia? Okay, how much? Yeah. Okay, well, I'll put that on there and just uh, give me the date and we'll, uh, we'll work it out. Yeah, it's two, two days? Okay, two days, two days, two days, so back to Virginia. Okay, cool. All right, thanks a lot. Yeah. I was, and we're going to get to that too because that messed up a lot of my relationships because I was such a great flexer. People thought I had money before I had it, but let, we'll get back to oh, that. Yeah. But I, I once I got the Rolex and I was like, yo, this is crazy. Now, I'll call you back in a second. I'm actually in the middle of something. Yeah, I know, right? It's been crazy. Just got booked in Virginia. So Virginia's going to be on there, too. We'll have more information about that. Um, Calico, still outside. He's doing an event in Mount Clemens, uh, Michigan. It's about a half an hour from Detroit, you know what I'm saying? It's like in South Dakota. I got a lot of family out there, you know what I'm saying? I told you half my family is from Michigan. I, I actually am, I, I love Michigan, you know what I'm saying? All parts of Michigan, you know what I'm saying? They got all them dispensaries out there, dog. If you have ever bang, been... Bang. Bang. To Michigan. <laughs> Boy, they got that gas out there. But anyway, that fried rice pack might be out there too. But anyway, let's keep it moving. Um, he says, uh, still outside, Calico's battling against Reed Dollars, Clean Paper versus Rex, Bill Collector versus Tay Rock, 
X Factor vs. True Four, Geechee vs. Joey Linwood, uh, O Solo vs. Black Fawns, Lady Caution vs. Bailey, and AG Amora vs. Yoshi. Man, this is a pretty, pretty, pretty good card. There's a lot of dope ass battles on here. Shout out to Calico. Uh, there's the flyer right there. I ain't gonna hold you, Calico. Presentation is everything to me. This flyer is just I, right. you know what I'm saying? Like I would probably get with a nigga like Derez or somebody like that to get you something better because the first thing that people see is that. But you got some dope ass battles on here. Oh yeah, you know who I be. Follow me on IG, man. I don't got I don't got enough followers on this motherfucker, man. What's up with y'all niggas, man? Follow me like y'all follow them hoes, man. <laughs> <laughs> share this motherfucker like y'all like share them blunts, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Fucking follow a nigga on Instagram, goddamn, that's where the toy information gonna be anyway, some of them a bitch. Alright, so let's get to it. Um, So he's got a pretty good card set up, man, I ain't gonna lie. For a uh, first, pretty much first event that he's throwing, oh, you know what I'm saying? I was blowing and I had to move that I had to slow down so this shit can get back to focus, you know what I'm saying? So like that um, yeah, so he had to, um, so, you know what I'm saying? There's some good names on here, man. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Clean Paper versus Rex. Uh, I like that battle. That seemed like a battle that would have happened a minute ago. Uh, shout out to Clean. You know me and Clean, man, we done had our shit back and forth. But you might as well come back through, too, because your man Quantum Physics, I spoke to him the other day. He followed me on Instagram. I follow him. That's my man again. So, nigga, you might as well get back over here, too. You know what I'm saying? You dissed me. I dissed you, my nigga. It's all good. Woo! Say it again, nigga. Get your ass in here, nigga. We cool, man. Fuck all that, nigga. Let's get to this money on. You want to make money, nigga? You want to make money or you want to spend it, nigga? Fuck out of here, nigga. Get on, nigga. Shout out to uh, Clean Paper. Him versus Rex, dope battle. Uh, in that battle in Michigan, though, that'd be kind of crazy. Because Clean, if Clean is on 10-10-10, I'll probably still go with Rex. Is this T-Rex? I don't see no T in front of this Rex, but I see a picture of Rex. See? Cal, this the shit I'm talking about, my nigga. Look at this motherfucker. Yo, y'all niggas need to get with me ASAP. Like, I, I'm telling you right now, my nigga. Like, this shit crap. You got a flyer, and your flyer says versus Rex. We know that's Rex, but I don't see no T in front of that Rex. Get a T in front of that Rex. <laughs> um, Bill Collector versus Tay Rock. Phenomenal battle. Uh, X Factor versus True Four. There's some good, good joints on here. Hopefully, they do a pay-per-view. But, Cal, uh, you, you would throw an event. In the Midwest when Surf ain't here. Why you ain't where these events was at back then? See, this is what I'm saying. You know when Surf came through there. You know I've been practicing, right? Because on the tour, you know what I'm saying? Me and, me and SP, we're going to actually battle and shit. I'm going to beat, you know, I'm going to tell you all right now. I'm going to win, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to win. So I've been practicing this shit. And when I saw this card in the Midwest, I thought about the guys who I walked all over his father the other day. That's why I got my white tee on, you know what I'm saying? So I figured if I start wearing a white tee in my blogs, they stop hating on me because I resemble pops a little bit. So, you know what I'm saying? I had to get my practice on, so I've been practicing. The first thing I hear when I touch down is surf, the Midwest grooving. Such and such nice. What's his name doing his numbers? And I don't see the Midwest losing. Well, I can think of a few verbs for the niggas that think they ill. I come through the Midwest cruising. X all factors. Hit all men trying to holler because the Calico's up in this big T. A C step. And you gonna pay me more too. So you know what I'm saying? I had to get my practice on. So I've been practicing, getting in my two a days, making sure that everything's gonna be good. So um, still outside, Calico versus Reed Calico. You taking a fucking? You are. This nigga is cherry picking. This nigga is cherry picking. Cal, this is some bullshit. You think you know you you know what you're doing? He is trying to set himself up for a layup at the crib. Why would you, like, what did you see? <laughs> Shout out to Reed, I fuck with Reed though, man. But um, Reed's a legend, Cal's a legend, but I got Cal winning 3-0, especially in the fucking, um, in Michigan. Like, come on, dog. That's like taking LeBron in Cleveland. I fuck with Reed, but I've seen Reed's last couple battles, and I don't know if I've seen anything quantifiable that's gonna let me believe that he's gonna be Cal, Cal in the tr <laughs> That's crazy. Um. Clean vs. Rex, I will probably go Rex 2-1. Bill vs. Rock, that's a fucking fire battle because I just seen Bill's last performance and I seen Rock. I'm going to break that down with SP because there's a lot because Rock going some different pockets. Bill going some different... Is these niggas doing pay-per-view? Listen, I'm going to tell y'all like this. Once this motherfucking tour start, I'm not going to be up there 
holding no microphones, doing no goddamn pay per views, talking about no battle rap shit. I'm telling you right now, because guess what? Them niggas that have them battle rap events, they will have you help them make a hundred grand. Them niggas will throw you three thousand. Like, man, you should be happy, man. I, I hooked you up, man. Nah, nigga, hell no. I got my own shit going on, baby. It's going to be some pay per view spots opening. So, <laughs> if you're a blogger, <laughs> you might want to get your shit up because it's going to be some spots opening because my dates is going to be full. Um, so the whole card, Calico says, whole card, every battle is three rounds. These, this is the shit that we need to know. Phenomenal move, Cal, because these niggas will really stash some three round shit and some one round shit and sell you a fast brick in a heartbeat. Though all the battles be one round and the main event be three. I think all leagues need to start specifying ones and threes. If you ain't, if it, if it ain't ones and threes, don't fuck with me. I can't, I'm not buying no card if I don't know what's popping on there. Because if niggas get up there rapping one round, I'm going to be mad. Um, so he says he got the calico, he got the link in his bio, things like that. Um, Skiller Baby wrote under there, said he's coming. So Cal gonna have a whole Detroit in the building, you know what I'm saying? My, my family's from Detroit. My, I, I mean, not Detroit, I'm bugging. My, my, well, my step pops is from Detroit. Well, my mom's, you know what I'm saying, she's from a city not too far from there, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna pull my, you know niggas, they want your whole itinerary now, they wanna know your name. You know niggas, you know, you know, you know, when you don't tell niggas too much in battle rap, they be like, hey, 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 homie, I heard you here from Shireen. You here from Shireen? Hey, man, where you from, man? Who, who, who you is, man? They be like, hey, man, you out here to see Shireen, homie? I don't care where this nigga from. I don't give a fuck where he from. It's a rap. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm going to tell you where I'm from, okay? You going to tell me where you from, okay? Or, or, or where your grandmama stay, or where your mama stay, or where your daddy stay. Fuck all this talking, man. You know, they love to do that. Nigga love, nigga love that. We want to run your whole life down in battle rap, man. But I do think it's a phenomenal card. Uh, that's going to be able to yield some good results if promoted right. Hopefully they do a pay-per-view stream or whoever does it, you know what I'm saying? With Cal, I just want to let him know that you're stepping into this game as a, as a business and as a brand now. You can't go the budget route. Don't be having niggas filming no battles with no cell phones and crazy shit like that. But other than that, man, salute to every single one of y'all. Uh, like I said, more information is going to be on the way, and we appreciate y'all. Um, shout out to my man. Showtime SP, my dog Scrap, and all my network partners are at Fox, my man B. Han. And make sure y'all check out his book, The Break. We got a book that we promote, you know what I'm saying? Because some of you motherfuckers need to read. Because if you read, you would speak less. You know what I'm saying? Read more, speak less. You know what I'm saying? So some people be like, how do you understand how to speak so intelligent and diligent and being able to put words together? You got to read, motherfucker. You got to read. So if you want a good book that's action, hip hop, comedy, thriller, that's a book. This is a book I'm reading. I read it. I wouldn't tell you to read it if I ain't read it, huh? Huh? Did I stutter? Motherfucker? I'm out. And shout out to the Bronx, though, man. You know what I'm saying? I done showed y'all how Bronx nigga really move. I was kind of moving on some being humble in the jungle shit. But all of that is over. So it is what it is. I just know I got that Altima on 22s, you know what I'm saying? Got that big Altima. And the funny thing is, niggas be talking about me driving an Altima who don't even got a car. How the fuck you talking about buy a car you ain't got a car? You bitch! Really what we talking about, this is whole shit, man. Like, like you're famous. Like. I ain't famous. You know they said I drive an Altima, right? An Altima? Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. What do they drive? They don't got cars! Packed out entertainment. Pop entertainment. Yeah, baby. They said I drive an Ultima, man. <laughs> when did they make Ultimas back in <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have no idea. They talking about my car and what? They talking about Vada car. And they don't even got a car. <laughs> About. Shut your bitch ass up before I get to talking shit about you. You don't want me to expose you. Selling that weed, boy. <laughs>